to school. So, uh, you know, it's fun playing with Tiger. I mean, we're the same age. And he's kind of beat us up for how many years now? 30. Um, but, uh, you know, it's fun playing with Tiger. It's, it's a lot better to play with him than the group in front of him. So, you know, anytime you're playing with him, though, you can look back and say, you know, at least I was doing something right that week. From Philly, I want to say. Philly last year. The, yeah. That was the first time since the... Since the junior. <coughs> or, well, we, we did play in college, but really, Not probably since... Not crowd? No. Mm -hmm. How do you feel you struck the ball today? How do you feel about your speed run? Uh, it was all right. It was all right. Uh, had a little trouble with distance control early. And then, uh, I tell you what, the, the greens are about a foot faster than they were Thursday, Friday. So it'll be interesting what happens with the leaders and how fast they adjust. Uh, For I mean, team? they got a little bounce to them, not not too much. Uh, it's not so much the firmness, but they do have more pace. Uh, they haven't quite got purple yet, but uh, I know that's the way he would like, or Mr. Nicholas would like to get them. But um, they they are a little quicker today. Do you notice anything different from uh, in Tiger's game from? The tournament, uh, you know, in the, in the fall or in September to now, I realize he he went on to win right after that. But uh, to look the same or uh, anything that you decipher? What I've noticed more since he came back from this injury, um, he hits a lot more controlled shots. He was always the greatest iron player in the world, but now he's he's hitting like controlled drivers and controlled three woods. It's not lash at it. And, you know, try and hit it as far as he can. Uh, I think he kind of checked that ego a little bit. And, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, all you got to do is get him in the fairway. And, I mean, as good as his iron game is, he's going to play well. Ryan, you're kind of doing your thing, obviously, but I think he's four under through seven in the mm -hmm. round today. Um, did you sense something, maybe a special number coming out of that as you were watching him play? Or you, even you know, you just never know around here. I mean, I, I joked with... Uh, my caddy on two green that I was going to go over and slap him if he hold that bunker shot because he hold one on one and then he lift it out on two and I'm like, yeah, he's hitting it all over the map here and he, you know, he's going to end up two under. But uh, you know, you just don't know. Ebb, golf goes ebb and flow, and um, especially you know out there, we call it caddy nightmare days. We ju you just can't figure out how strong the wind is. You can kind of get the direction right now, but it, it's just gusting just that little bit. To, put that little bit of doubt in your head. Um, so you just really can't can't tell. Hey, Ryan, how does it feel to be able to throw up an OH at a golf tournament and uh -oh. get a nice response? I that? love it. Yeah, you know, it, it, you know, I wish I would have made that chip in on 16, but to, to roll in a birdie on 12 and, you know, get the crowd kind of going with the OHIO was pretty fun. All right. Ryan, thank you, sir. All right. Appreciate thank it. You. Thanks, guys.